So welcome everybody, this is my first ever vlog. Um, I've done a few videos on YouTube before, um, mainly just uh, talking about mental health and things like that. So um, I've never actually done a vlog. So bear with me, um, it's gonna be pretty raw. I'll edit it as much as I can. I've got no flashy editing software or anything like that. Um, I just wanted to try it out, see how I got on with it. And then obviously I will invest in some better equipment. Um, for most of the video, actually for all of the video, I'm just using this little get up, get up. Um, it's a bit of a Go, GoPro clone. Um, obviously nowhere near as good as a GoPro, but I think it video, the video out, the quality output's okay. And then just using a little external microphone which plugs into it. But yeah, basically it's um, just a, a little adventure really. Um, of where I used to grow where I grew up as a kid where I used to hang around it starts with me just coming straight from a boxing class so I'm hot and sweaty and then pretty much most of it I'm knackered because um, I'm on the scooter scooting around so um, anyway hope you enjoy so day one this is my first vlog um, I'm shaking I'm like a beetroot so this is like pretty much going to be raw as it is um, the camera's shaking because I've just finished the boxing session um, as you can tell by my face I'm absolutely sweating you can't tell but my t-shirt is soaked amazing session an hour beasting in the boxing gym uh, mixed with burpees and all, all squats and uh, all sorts so anyway the, the goal of today is um, I'm basically now about to go to a place called Vute Beats I think that's how you pronounce it it's a vegan cafe in Letchworth Garden City that's where I am today uh, amazing food they do this uh, the BLT and it's their signature bacon and their signature mayonnaise it is absolutely amazing so I'm going to go there now then what I intend to do why it's not raining at the moment is the intention is to basically go on a bit of a tour of Letchworth where, uh, where I used to live, Chapman's Estate in Letchworth. I'm going to try and get on my scooter and scoot around to various locations of when I was growing up as a kid and just sort of document them, show you some just um, some bits and bobs of where I used to live and just take you on a bit of a tour really. Um, pretty much this is quite raw, the camera's going to be shaky, um, it is what it is, I like it to be nice and kind of uh, as it is and a bit but unedited as such so catch you in a minute. Okay bye. So I've just left uh, Vute Beats. I was going to um, film the guys when I was there, but uh, it was really busy. I don't want to embarrass them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and head off now, and I'm going to go and scoot around, um, like I said earlier, where I used to live. And then I will come back. I need to get a Biscoff that they sell. These Biscoffs are amazing at Vute Beats. But I've just picked up this little sign uh, from my daughter. She just got a puppy a little while ago, a little Ralph. He's hilarious. He, um, everybody asked me what he is, and I should know. He's a cross between a a poodle or something but he's hilarious and um, we saw this little sign in this little local shop when we was here the other day and um, trying to do my bit to support local businesses the lady in there was lovely the shop's called Jewels etc in the wind in Letchworth Garden City so if you're ever around check that shop out it's really nice really nice little lady, nice lady in there got real some real nice little quirky little um, little items in there so I'm gonna head off now and I am going to go and uh, scoot round, like I say, scoot used to where I used to live. Then I'm going to come back to where we are and I'm going to grab a Biscoff. I will show you the Biscoff and when I come back, I am going to speak to the guys at Vute Beats, um, Paul and Harry, just get a little bit of insight about the, the business that they've got there because the food is amazing. Again, if you're ever in Electra of Garden City, Vute Beats, and I'll, I'll film it later so you can see okay, it. Okay, so we're ready. Got the scoot. Got a little scoot, so we're ready. So we are going to go down uh, that direction. Going to head down here. So where we are right now is the big playing field. When I was a kid, we used to. Um, this has changed a little bit. It used to be tennis courts, full-on tennis courts here. Just have a, a surrounding. But this is um, this, uh, the, the the field, Jackman's field. Uh, over here, got all the creamery. So over behind me, over here, there's houses. Over here. Um, this used to be a creamery, it used to be um, the dairy place, so creamery court that is, over there. Um, I lived, used to live when I lived as a kid, where that goal post is down there in that direction, which I'll be going down in a minute. So I'm going to go down here and down across down the road, we'll cross over and I'll take you past the house I used to live in. Now obviously there are people living there, so I've got to be a little bit respectful, but um, hopefully there won't be anybody in too much and I'll just scan the camera past. So yeah, so we're going to head out now, I'm going to get on the scoot and um, yeah, we're going to head off. See you in a minute. So just coming around the corner, it's really windy, so um, hopefully you can hear me, but obviously trying to be respectful because people live here, but um, as we walk around this corner here, this one here, number 22, that's where I used to live as a kid. So I lived there till I was about 26, I think. Um, yeah, this is, this is Vincent. It's like a little cul-de-sac. 
kind of hasn't changed much really to be fair um, it's kind of quite similar morning and um, yeah so then that's 22 ways to live and then I moved um, from 22 this one here number 18 I moved here um, for a while I lived there with one of my old school friends James it's just there it looks slightly different to how it looked when I looked when I lived there sorry um, yeah then on, if I'm honest it, yeah, it looks a bit different to when I was a kid. It just starts going, dare I say it down, looks a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit unloved, I think is the right word. Um, I've just scooted down um, some of these paths around here. I don't know if you can see this ground here, but it's really rough. And uh, I nearly decked it a couple of times, just literally walking, <laughs> just riding around to here. So these paths, when I was a kid, I remember them being like quite smooth. They're definitely not smooth anymore. Um, so there are, there is going to be a good chance that I'm going to deck this today. So uh, it'll give you a good laugh anyway if I do. Anyway, so um, yeah, I'm going to jump back on the scoot and I'll see you in a minute. So I've just got my bisque off. These things are amazing. They're absolutely amazing. Uh, Butte Beats is just down over there, under there. <coughs> I'm thinking that after re um, drinking this, it's gonna be an absolute nightmare trying to scoop back because these things are lovely, but they are calorific. And um, yeah, so I've got to try and get back on the scooter um, and try and beat it before it rains as well. It is looking a little bit like it's gonna rain so I've got to try and drink this and then uh, try and make it back Oh, <laughs> 
know what, sometimes it's just nice to sit and reflect. I am really sweaty, so this whole video contains me just being sweaty. Um, yeah, it's really nice to just sit and reflect sometimes. I grew up in Letreff, and um, it is kind of where my home is, where my heart is really. And um, yeah, I'd love to move back here one day. It's such a lovely little place, it's really peaceful. And uh, there's some nice people around me here as well. So, um, but yeah, basically I scooted down. Um, I've warmed myself out from boxing this morning, so I've scooted down, I'm sweating loads, I've got jeans on, which is never good, and then basically I'm going to walk, walk a little bit back now, and then uh, scoot a little bit the rest of the way. Catch you in a minute. back on uh, Chapman's estate um, back in the day it had a really bad reputation it's one of those estates where you know what it can be as bad as you want it to be really uh, Chapman's community centre just here uh, just at the back without the back of the shops uh, I think this is still a Chinese used to be a Chinese back in the day let's go around the corner and have a little look there's used to be a chippy pharmacy uh, community centres over here on the right yeah yeah still still a Chinese one stop here. It's the Ceciba shop. Oh my god, that's been there for years. It's like a domestic appliance shop, I think. Been there back when I was a kid. And then you've got the Ivor Court flats. Chapman's Chip, he used to work there years ago. He used to work out the back, chopping up all the uh, potatoes. Hair and Beauty, Pharmacy, Labrooks, Indian Fat Jacks, and Ivor Courts. This is basically uh, grew up here as a kid. As you can see, it's pretty. It's a skateboard all around here. Hasn't changed much, but yeah, in fact, it hasn't changed at all. It's exactly the same as it was when I was a kid. So, so back in the day, this bit here, we used to come so from the park, which is up there. And in the minute, I'm going to go. This, there's they're building houses here, which uh, I didn't know they was doing that. I'm going to go around a corner in a minute. There's a car park over there. And it's got a really smooth. It used to have a really smooth um, surface. We used to come down and, and, and out. I'm going to see if it's still there. And then we're going to go up there in a minute to take you to what was called Wheelie Bin Alley. I'll explain in a minute. But basically, back in the day, down here, we used to come down here on our uh, bikes and our on our skateboards, believe it or not. There's um, there's a massive great like a boulder down there, like a bit out of the path, which isn't good. But basically, I'm not going to go down there on the scoot because I would kill myself but uh, yeah we're basically going to head over here see if this car park's still here with the smooth surface then we're going to head over there and I'm going to show you Wheelie Banali. So I'm to say it's still here so this is the um, car park it's above the shops and above the flats basically this surface here it's well it's kind of bobbly now but it's actually really smooth so we used to start off obviously we used to start up against that wall back there um, and we used to yeah, start with that wall we used to get up as much speed as we can we used to bomb it like down here like along here and then down this ramp now they're doing building works here now so you I don't know what's on the other end of it so let's have a look yeah so that round this bend here and you should just come down the bottom so uh, yeah so we'll do it we'll go down there and have a little ride around there then we're gonna head over to Wheelie Bin, Wheelie Bin Alley and um, like I say I'll explain about Wheelie Bin Alley okay, so, so we've made it to Wheelie Bin Alley so let me explain about Wheelie Bin Alley it's this it's an alley yeah <laughs> we have one Wheelie Bin currently so basically what happened was, back in the day, it starts here, look. We used to bike to school. So shout out to uh, Robert Jones, Sam Millen, I think his name was. Miss Sam, he's a cool guy he was. Uh, and Neil Shippy Shipton. And a few others, uh, Robert Goddard as well, Wizza. We used to come down this alleyway, and there used to be wheelie bins all stacked all the way outside the gardens, outside the fences, right? And basically, we used to, someone, whoever was in front, so whoever, there was four or five of us in a row, would come down here, <laughs> kick, so kick the wheelie, kick the wheelie bin over, and then they'd fall like dominoes, and then the people behind would have to try and miss the wheelie bins, basically. So it's like cat and mouse, like miss the wheelie bins. So that's why we call it wheelie bin alley. So we used to come down here in the mornings, 
cause havoc and kick the wheelie bins over and then basically go on to school. So I'm going to take you around now to where the school was. It's around over here, I'm a bit lost now. I've been here for years, so I'll take you where, the, where my old school was. So, uh, so this basically used to be the entrance to my old school. So this would come in from, let's put the scoot down. Coming from obviously from here, so Willie Ben Ali was just around the corner where we've just been. Mr. to come around this corner here, Mr. to come in. So this was the entrance here, right where we are. So Quinn Way, this is now called. Um, let's have a little wander around. I won't go too far, but this would have been literally leading up to the entrance to the school. Over to the left-hand side, just here where those that sign is there, or a bit further on back here where that gap is in the hedge, would have been roughly where the bike racks would have been and the playground, oh no sorry, the playground would have been there, sorry and then the bike racks were a bit further up and then, um, I won't go too far around because obviously it's people's houses but just up here, all this whole area up here was basically where the school was um, obviously it's gone now, so um, Oh, are you right? Yeah, a bit of a break in filming and it was quite funny actually I was just walking, walking around and I just bumped into some people that I know and um, yeah, so basically this is still back on, back on the route where my school was um, don't know what they're doing, I can hear them behind me so yeah, big area. Anyway, I don't want to walk way around because you can see it's just people's houses and I uh, don't like to intrude. But yeah, basically this is where the school was. It's a massive, massive ground. Um, I didn't like school. I didn't get on with school at all. I struggled at school. Like, really struggled at school um, academically and um, didn't really have great memories of school, if I'm honest. But it's nice to see where the school was. It's still, still nice to come back and see where it was. So basically what I'm going to do now, I'm going to head back Got to get back on the scoot and um, basically scoot back to my car. Then I'm going to pop round and see my daughter Summer and little Ralph. So I'll see if I can get some footage of little Ralph. He's hilarious. Um, he's a little cross breed of a poodle and something else, but he's absolutely hilarious. Basically, every time he sees new people or he sees someone he hasn't seen for a while, he pretty much just wheezes on you. So um, I'm getting ready for him to wee on me. But um, anyway, yeah. Catch you in a minute. dog <laughs> so that's that's it really that's the end of the vlog um, I've edited it and done as much as I can with it really as I said in the opening sequence um, it's pretty raw it's pretty rough but um, it is what it is um, and I think it's just important really um, probably can tell by the t-shirt um, you're braver than you feel um, a lot of my um, videos now going forward are going to be sort of raising awareness for mental health and really how um, the impact on exercise and getting out and about can really help you um, I, I was at the, at the weekend I was um, I was in Wales there visiting um, some some friends of mine who unfortunately my, my best friend um, uh, I lost my best friend in February of this year and um, I sat with his dad and, and his cousin and, and, and one of his sons and seeing the impact that mental health has on people is huge. Um, I, I, I know and I, I still have bad days. I have mainly good days, but I have, have some bad days. Um, but yeah, so really this video is just a bit of fun. It's just about going back to some back to your roots and seeing where I grew up and um, just getting out and about on the scooter um, after a boxing class and just keeping active and healthy, really. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and look forward to doing some more. Cheers.